create a solution, uh, really, what's a problem throughout the Maritimes and the larger centers of anyway at graffiti? Well, maritime business owners have been turning to urban artists to solve a rather unsightly problem. David Yetman is relieved to see a graffiti artist spray painting the building where he works. That's because this artist was paid to paint. Last fall, David's company had a real problem with vandalism. We started having a lot more problem, uh, to the tune of about $10,000 with broken windows, tagging. Looking for a solution, David and his colleagues called Kate McLennan. She's the community arts facilitator for the Halifax Regional Municipality. For the last four years, Kate has been pairing business owners with artists to beautify urban spaces, like this building on the Dartmouth waterfront. An artist named Sean Bullen, who is a student at NASCAD, approached the owner and said, I see that you have a lot of wall space here. I would really like to beautify the building. Organized urban art can not only brighten an area that may have been ugly or uninteresting, but it can also discourage others from tagging. Public art um, usually deters graffiti um, with beautiful things. I think people universally want to preserve what is beautiful. And when we create public art, when we beautify spaces, we're really telling the wider community we care about this space, we bring energy and love into this space, and other people really do rise to that occasion. So even when people tag, they don't want to take artwork that's beautiful. The partnership also gives artists a canvas for their work. And it's usually a bit of a difficulty to convince businesses that a graffiti-style mural is the best thing to deter the vandalism. And uh, so I'm hoping that this project in particular, since it's such a exciting project, so a lot of other businesses will be inspired to have similar murals on their, on their stores. If this project is any indication, it's a solution that's receiving a lot of positive feedback. We had a lot of, a lot of cars honking their horns and hooting and hollering going on on Friday when Sean was out front. It's a win-win situation. The business owners are happy and the artists have a place to showcase their talents. The business is starting to recognize the value of the arts. Um, and the artists, um, even graffiti artists, are coming to say, we're ready to support you, and there's a really important alliance there to make. Proving the solution to urban decay could be a spray away. Very interesting. And David decided that he and his colleagues are going to actually make this a competition, a yearly competition, so that artists can uh, submit their work and see if they'd like to change the look of that building every year. Yeah. Why not? It's a good idea. Good solution. Yeah. Uh, this past season, it was Ellen DeGeneres. Now.